Hello boys and girls, I'm playing Skylanders Trap Team and it's kind of mental. I've never really played Skylanders games much before, beyond that sort of gallery shooter Skylanders Patrol or something, I forget what it is. Um, this is my little trainer fellow, hidden with the eye patch standing there on the bridge. I am this uh, dragon guy, I don't know Skylanders, this is all mental to me. Um, you have to collect a bunch of them. This is their kind of version of the Disney Infinity thing. I mean, to be fair, Skylanders had it first, let's be honest. Um, and the idea is if you are a perhaps a younger person with an interest in collecting little plastic toys, then you buy the toys physically and then you sort of port them into the game in the same way that Angry Birds does with the telepods and Disney Infinity does, yada, yada, yada. So it's a way of selling little plastic toys and forming a game around them as well. Die, weird cactus thing. Um, it's been released to coincide with the console releases of this game. So rather than it just being kind of a, a very, very super stripped down iOS version where they turn it into a match three puzzler, they've gone for, no, let's do a full on sort of 3D version of the, the game. So it's not a million miles away from the game that you'll be playing on your, you know, PS4 or whatever it might be. I don't know what it's coming to outside of mobile, frankly. Um, so this is my first Skylander dude. Uh, in order to open up all the areas in the game, you need to collect elemental Skylanders. What am I supposed to do here? I don't know if this is poisonous. I'm not sure. Yeah, so each Skylander has, like, elements attached to them. Oh, it's not poisonous. We're fine. There you go. A trap master of the tech element is needed to open this gate. So I can't go in. I need to have a Skylander who is tech Skylander. Uh, and then I can get access to that area. So what you as a player need to do is either play through to collect him or presumably you have to go and buy him. And that's where the kind of the cash comes in. So in order to complete all areas of the game, you need to have a certain amount of elemental Skylanders for which you will have to pay money. So that's how they're going to get you. Oh, these guys look friendly, actually. I shouldn't be lobbing. <laughs> Big sword strikes at them. It's played from a fixed perspective, so I can't control the camera at all. I'm being pointed in the direction I need to go. I can't skip past these chat scenes, by the way. I'm still being taught about stuff. I've already captured a sheep, which is very exciting. He was like an enemy boss sheep who had rocket launchers strapped to him. And I can become that sheep if I want to by tapping the little icon, because I've now captured him like Pokemon style. This big blue get, he's getting all stroppy at some very cute looking, I don't know what they are. Are they raccoons? Are they... What are they? Whereas this guy's drinking lots of what looks like orange tango out of a barrel. So currently this is live in the Australian App Store, New Zealand App Store. It is, I think, out on Thursday. So it's not out and available yet. However, we've already got Mr. Peter Wellington, who is something of a Skylanders expert on the review at the moment. He is playing through with a whole bunch of toys as we speak. So I'm just here to show you what it looks like in preparation for the review to come ahead. It's a bit jerky, I'm noticing some serious like frame rate lag stuff. I'm playing on an iPad 4 and it does get a bit jerky when you use the capture device that we use uh, to get it onto your computer and up on YouTube. So it's perhaps not entirely representative. Um, I imagine it'll be a bit better if you're running an iPad Air or something like that. So I think I need to get him to drink that orange goo. I'll be honest, I wasn't really paying attention. Jump! Oh crap, he's, he's clocked me. Nuts. So, apparently it's a good idea to go around smashing up stuff, which is what I've been doing here. Drops lots of things that you can collect, and presumably come in handy a bit later. Boing! There are also these balloons, which I've been encouraged to collect. Right now, let me see, do I push this? Let's try pushing, let's try smashing instead. Smashing seems to be the way forward. I'm just gonna, I'm lobbing these little arrows that I have, or I can do great big kind of Whoppa! smashes like that. There we go. I have to beat my way past it. These guys look delighted. Perhaps I'm supposed to get rid of his goo supply. Oh, good lord, this guy's massive! I quite like the scale here. That is impressive. It is very jerky, though. I'm not, I'm not as impressed by the frame rate. Uh, wait, go on, go up, go up, go up. Change direction. There we go. And again. Okay, I'll go this way. It's always been the thing with 3D platformers, it can be tricky to guess which is the next bit you're supposed to jump onto, especially when the camera is fixed, like this one. Whoa! Whoa there! Okay, made it. Mm 
Okay, what do I have to do? I, I, so I hit his hand. We need to blow up that bat of soda. The gopher's giant hand is in the way. It is. Ah, uh, these things let you lob a massive cork. So if I just go up to this and press the exclamation point, boom. Yeah. Out of my way. And then if I start laying into this thing. Boom. Curse smash. I think I'm draining his power supply. Boing. Right. Now, well, one of these is poison, so I've got to swap him around, maybe? I do wish you could skip these little chat scenes. This orange ambrosia cooler was named Soda of the Year. Mm. The green stuff is bottom feeding suction eel flavored. It tastes even worse than it sounds. Okay, that does sound pretty bad. I agree. I think the eye patch man is onto something. Give it a switcheroo. All right, so I'm going to push this out the way. That's a, let's get that off the edge. Yeah, go away. We don't need you anymore. Bye. And let's go and give him some horrible stuff that will probably poison him and give him a bad tummy. Let's push it right over there. There we go. Beautiful. I have saved Soda Springs from Disaster by poisoning this creature. Oh. And now he's shrinking to comically small proportions. Okay, so once you've defeated something, you can then trap the villain, Pokemon Stardy. So I'm going to tap here. Tap to trap this villain in the instant water trap. That's what I've done. I've just tapped him. He gets sucked into a Skylandery portal. A bit like this. And then I can get access to him. Like, I haven't done it yet, but I could switch to that weird sheep that I got. There we go. There's quite a lot of voice acting stuff that's been added to the game. They've paid a fair amount of attention to making it like a fully console-ish experience. I think it's running a bit... It feels like it runs a bit slow, though. Perhaps it's a little bit much for the iPad to handle, or at least my iPad to handle. So now I've got him and a sheep. So I, I, I have collected things, these villains, without needing to buy stuff. But obviously, if you want to go and flesh out your characters, you need to go and cough up real money on those little uh, pod things. You don't have to bring them with you wherever you go. You can play in a kind of offline mode. So you can go and play on the bus. You don't need to carry them all with you or anything like that. Oh my god, this game does feel mental though. The colours and the creatures and everything. It's all very, very super psychedelic. And there you go, couldn't connect to the store. Try again Larry, that's fine, that's fine. And here you go, before we go, buying digital packs that you can play on the go, or you can buy a starter pack which includes your Skylanders figures, traps, one of the actual portal things and everything. And you can go and buy those. Um, they'll cost real actual bucks, probably quite a lot of them. Peter will tell you more in the review that's up and coming soon. Thank you for watching this quick first look and I shall see you soon. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.